So, uh, how much time do we have? Okay, I'll do, uh, let's do one more and then I'll demonstrate how we make this transition so you can look forward to, um, you know, what we do for people that are attending the, uh, that, that extra class we're adding for people that can do transitions. I will include transitions here, but since we have new people, I really want you to get used to the, the actual basic pose before we get into transitions. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna do is called parting the wild horse's mane. I'll demonstrate. Okay, let's, let's play. Let's have our right leg forward, left leg back. Let's get the position. So uh, right leg is forward, right palm is up. We are serving T, shoulder height. Don't serve T here, here, right over here. So it looks just like that. And the other palm, which is our balancing arm, is right at our side. Not here, but just a little bit in front. So everyone's right leg is forward. Raise both arms, palms facing down. Push the right palm down, shift into a back stance, bring that big ball that you're a big ball now holding all the way to the left, and then take this bottom arm and shift forward. The top arm goes straight down, coming into a front stance. The bottom arm serves T, shoulder height, and this goes straight down. Both arms come up, palms are facing down. Push the right palm down, turn to the left, bringing that big beach ball to the left, this top arm goes straight down, and I'm serving T, parting the wild horse's mane, palm face up, shoulder height. My left arm, again, one more time. Both palms come up, facing down. Push the right palm down. Bring the ball to the left. I'm in a back stance. And then come forward into a front stance. Top palm goes straight down, and the right arm serves T, parting the wild horse's mane. Beautiful. Very well done, Lenora and Linda G. Let's switch legs. Left leg towards the camera, right leg back. Let's find our position. Left arm, palm face up, right palm here. Both arms come up, palms face down. Put shoulders relaxed. Push the left palm down and take that big beach ball, bring it over to the right side of your body. Big ball. And then I'm going to shift forward, and this top arm's going to come straight down, and the one to the camera is going to start serving T, or parting the wild horse's mane. Both arms come up, palms face down, push the left palm down, bring the big ball over to the right into a back stance, and then serve T. Push this top palm straight down, and the left arm serves T. One more time. Palms come up, facing down, push. Bring that ball, push that left arm down, and then serve T with the left side of your body. And then relax. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through the whole um, posture, all the postures, but we now know or have done, uh, we've done ocean wave, right? And then this transitions into repulsing the monkey. And then repulsing the monkey, we do one on each side. Transitions into brushing the left knee. And then transitions into brushing the right knee. And then this transitions into parting the wild horse's mane. on one side, and then parting the wild horse's mane on the other side. Guess what that comes next? That transitions into waving hands like clouds. Wow, I think you've done all of these today. And you know what transitions next? Golden rooster. 
Now that I'm thinking about it, I think you've done all six of these. And then there's two more that come after that, which we haven't done so much of. So yeah, that's where we want to be. And we're trying to do transitions here, but we really want to get the basics down. So those of you that can make it uh, on Tuesday after the one hour class, we have 30 minutes that have done some of these and feel comfortable with it. If you're a beginner, then you probably shouldn't come. It's going to be a little, you're not going to get much out of it. But if you've been here before, then definitely please come because we want you to be able to learn all these transitions. It's just so beautiful putting it all together. And there's a very formal part to it, which I'm not going to do right now. I just started, but you know, with a bow and et cetera, et cetera. So it's quite beautiful. But aside from being beautiful, which I'm very happy about, every single thing we do in this pose is going to prevent you from falling. It's going to retrain your mind to be in the present moment so you don't get stressed, anxious. There's breathing involved with all these things. And then there's also, it reduces the opportunity for cognitive decline because the brain is always not thinking, but paying attention and being challenged. That's a beautiful thing. So that's kind of, that's what we do here. So if you're a little uncomfortable, I'm happy. <laughs> and the amazing thing is your physical body is not being challenged so much. It's really up here because all this stuff is really slow. Anyone can do it. My mother-in-law who, yes, who's online right now with us, she's 91, practices almost every day. So we'll, I'll turn her camera on next week and you can, you can, see, you can see her practice. Okay, let's do a little bit, a few warm downs. We're sitting tall. Let's take our left leg, bring it out to the left. Right knee pointing perfectly towards the camera. Sitting nice and tall. Remember that shoulder blades are in. Tall and proud. I'm not this here, right? This goes out. This rounds at the top. This is not, no. This is the feeling we want. That's the feeling we want. Open, open, open. When we are stay in this alignment, also less likely to fall. I don't want to digress too much, but if I'm like this, I got 20, 30 pounds here, tight over here, rounded shoulders. Yes, I turn into a shuffler, more likely to fall. When I'm like here, I'm in alignment. When I'm in alignment, I can balance, I can do all kinds of things. The moment I do this, it's so much harder. So we talk about this alignment of the posture all the time, not just to look good. Okay, so left knee, right knee, palms here, left arm up, look over your right shoulder, right arm up, look towards the camera and reach, reach. Reach, open up, open up, open up front and back. Reach, reach, reach. Then slowly swivel your head, look past your left fingers, and then observe the natural breathing of your abdomen as you reach both directions through to infinity, and then swivel your head forward, and then relax your arms. Let's bring your knees back to center. Bring the right knee to the right. If you have to come forward in your chair instead of back here, you can come forward. We want to have this nice opening here, palms here, shoulders down and back, and then slowly bring up the right arm, look over your right, left arm, right arm, sorry, left arm, look over your left shoulder, look towards the camera, reach, 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 and then slowly swivel your head and gaze over your right shoulder, past your right fingers, and then observe your breathing. And slowly come back to center. Drop your arms, bring your front leg forward. Come to the edge of your chair, hands on your hip. Get those elbows back like we did earlier today. And we're gonna open up the chest, a lot of thoracic breathing coming up. Here we go, inhale, raise the sternum bone up. Stay right there, exhale. Inhale, sternum up, shoulder blades in, look up. Exhale, one more time, inhale, up, 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 up. And then slowly, slowly release and then come down. We do it one more time.